Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today on this channel I'm going to talk to you about how you can lay up the basketball softly so that it doesn't go clanging off the backboard. Now, yes, I have seen tons of basketball players play who just clang it off the backboard constantly. They're going like bang right off the backboard and missing totally. And I've also had in the comment section the question of how can I lay up the basketball softly? So from what I've seen basketball players doing, if they're clanging it off the backboard or clanging it off the backboard in the rim, is they're going in way too fast out of control and not focusing on the basket and just trying to get it up there. Now, when you're going in for a layup, you can't just go and go full speed all the way through and finish like five, six feet behind the backboard. Now, you, can, you, see, you do see NBA players doing this, finishing five, six feet past the backboard. The reason for that is, is they're going so fast, even though, but they're, they're still keeping control of the ball. They're also getting pushed sometimes, and they just don't want to like pull a muscle by trying to stop fast. Now, what you're doing is when you're taking that last step, instead of going in a forward motion, you need to stop yourself going forward and go straight up. That's number one, going to allow you to be able to go up softly with your layup. Now again, a lot of players will just go and just try their best to get it up there, two hands and just chuck it. But the first thing what I want you to do is to stand right beside the basket and to know how hard you need to press or push that ball to go in. Because all you need to do is just lightly tap it off that backboard. Now, ideally, you'd be getting it off the, the top of that square and then once you get to know how much pressure you need to put on the basketball to get that layup to, may, to be made, now you can take a few steps back and just go right, left, up, and then again, right, left, up. So that time it was a bit higher and it banked off the rim a bit hard, but I didn't miss it. And then you're gonna go back a little bit farther you're going to take one dribble, right, left, up. And then you're going to continue that. And then you're going to go try and go faster and faster until you get to full speed. And then you should at that time know how much pressure, how much power you need to put it off the backboard to make that layup without clanking it off the backboard and having to go back down to your end of the court. Now, I've been there in games. I, I had a game in grade nine where I drove to the rim so much that I've never driven that many times in, in a game up until that point. It was because the guy who was guarding me was much slower than me. So I was able to get past him easily and then I had help defense coming in. And I've never really experienced that before up until grade nine. So, because nobody really knew how to play defense until grade nine. And so I would be driving towards the rim. I've already beat my man and now I've got this defender coming towards me. Now, in that point in time, you're not going to be going up with a regular layup. You're going to be doing kind of like a power hop, a hop step in. That way, you can control the ball and also use your body to protect yourself from getting blocked. That is one way that you can go in for a layup in game, be contested, but still make your shot. So, you'll be, you've beat your man. You're driving towards the basket. You've got help defense coming towards you. You hop step in. You use the half of your, half of your body and you go up. That way, there's not much he can do. So you're driving towards the basket. You're gonna go bang in and then up. It's still a layup. It's just a power layup, what we call it. Anyways, I hope that this video helps you become a better basketball player. I hope it allows you to be able to make those layups a lot more in game without clanking it off the backboard. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another twice a day basketball video.